Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Tiny Cabin Life. We are here in the Rum River State Forest in Minnesota, and today is really, really exciting. We're testing out a brand new piece of gear for the travel cabin. We've got a refrigerator that has just been installed into this bad boy, and I am so incredibly stoked. So here it is, guys. A brand by the name of Set Power was gracious enough to gift us this refrigerator freezer combo. And already, I think it is so awesome. If you take a look, it just opens up like that. And we've got our food and drinks inside there. There's also a little light. So what are we going to be testing with our fridge? One, we're going to test how well it keeps our food and drinks cold. That is the most important thing after all. Number two, we're going to test how much energy this thing really sucks up. So we're going to give it the day, the evening, and the morning to see how much energy this thing takes up. Because when you're off grid like we are, you don't have unlimited energy. And to be fair with our test, we're gonna give this thing its own battery source uh, for this review. We won't be running the lights, the heater, or anything else off of the same battery source, so we'll really be able to tell how much juice this thing uses. But before we get into the test, let's install this bad boy. We're gonna go back in time to the house and install it and keep this video moving. All right, so first things first, we're going to remove our cooler here. <sighs> wow. Now, here's the big question though. Is it going to fit into our slot where our cooler used to be? Oh my gosh, you guys, it fits perfectly. The garbage can is the only thing that's gonna block us. I think we can easily find another place for our garbage can. We plug in our cord right down here. We will just plug it in to our solar generator here. All right. So that's the installation, you guys. It was super easy. And as you saw, the fridge fit perfectly into the slot that we had planned for it. And that's a big deal in a space like this that's only 32 square feet. We don't have unlimited space. Here's our Jackery. We're gonna use this to power um, the fridge so that we can monitor it without any other interference from other electronics. So our fridge here has a couple different ways that you can power it. Um, you can either run it off of a 12 volt plug, which I'll probably do that today since our Jackery has a slot for it. But you can also use a little adapter that they have provided to be able to plug that into a wall as well. So you've got a couple different ways that you can power your unit. So as you can see, we've got 100% battery in this thing. We're gonna uh, fire on our DC. And that is what is going to be powering our fridge. So let's plug it in and get it going. Okay, it looks like we are starting in max. Uh, if you press our settings button here, it will go to economy mode. I'm pretty sure that means that it'll draw less battery power. But for the purposes of this test, I think we want to keep it on max. Um, I have all of our food in here. We're gonna be making some dinner tonight. I've also got some drinks and uh, they're a little cold, but they're only cold because of the drive over here. Um, I did not chill these at all. And so we're gonna see how well this refrigerator cools them down. Now that we got it on, it's time to play the waiting game and see what happens. We'll check in in a little bit uh, once this thing has some time to cool off the food and drinks. Okay guys, so it has been about three and a half hours since we plugged in our refrigerator. Um, I'm gonna reach in there and I'm gonna see how our drinks feel as well as our food because it's time to cook dinner. Um, I wanna let you know that right now in the cabin, it is 65 degrees. It's not like this food has been sitting in cold temperatures. It is totally warm in here. And so if our food and our drinks are cold, that means the fridge is doing well. Also, somehow our Jackery is still at 100%. This thing is not using up like any energy at all. So if these drinks are cold, I'm gonna be really, really impressed. Reach in here. 
Oh yeah. It's absolutely cold. Let's see our food. Yeah, it is cold. That's incredible. This is good too. It's pretty incredible to have something like this that is drawing basically no power at all and uh, have it cool down our things so well. As of now, I'm super impressed. So I'm gonna cook some dinner and we'll check back in on it uh, before we go to bed tonight. Looks pretty good, huh? <laughs> this is going to hit the spot. Oh, it's perfect. We've made some dinner, we've hung out for a while, and it's just about time to go to bed. But before we do, we're gonna do one last fridge check. This was not uh, refrigerated at all, and now it is absolutely cold. So let's get down and, and check out our battery level. Okay guys, so we are at 99%. So far, so good. We've got uh, eight hours or nine hours of sleep. Uh, so we'll see what happens overnight. Good morning, guys. Uh, woke up with some snow on the ground, which was really unexpected, honestly. Um, but it is super beautiful outside. Now I'm just about to pack up. And uh, before I do, it's time to test the fridge one more time and see how much energy we lost overnight by running this thing at full power. Our power source is at 92%. So for the last 15 hours while running this fridge, we only lost 8% of our battery. That's really, really good. Um, honestly, I was expecting it to draw a lot more energy than that. Drinks are still cold. Food is still refrigerated. Everything is good. I'm really impressed. This is just an awesome addition to the travel cabin. It made life so much easier yesterday and it's gonna make it so much easier when I get home. Not having to drain a cooler and blah, 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 all that stuff. Uh, having a fridge is awesome. And if you want to try one out for yourself, um, there's a link in the description below where you can purchase one of your own and I have a discount code in there for you as well. So go down there and check it out if you need a fridge for your car, for your overlanding setup, tiny cabin, whatever, uh, check it out. These things are great. I give it a thumbs up. But that is gonna do it for the video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Special thank you to Set Power for hooking up the fridge. It worked great. So excited to have it as a part of our setup. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next adventure.